and welcome to my channel. In today's video I will be doing another crochet tutorial and this time I will be teaching you how to create these super beautiful sunflower granny squares. If you're new to my channel I do quite a lot of product reviews, vegan recipes and lately I have also started creating a lot of crochet tutorials so I really hope that you will enjoy. And if you're new to my channel please subscribe, give me a big thumbs up but now let's get into it! So here are all the materials that you are going to need. You will need some yarn in four different colors. Color scheme is totally up to you, but I'm using these four ones. And this is cotton eight by eight. You will also need a crochet hook. And in this case, I'm using five millimeter one. And you will also need some scissors. But now let's get into it and let's start creating our sunflower granny squares. So first we will be starting by doing the middle part of our sunflower and to do that we will be using this brown color. And first step for us is to do a magic ring and to do so you basically have to uh, tie the yarn around your fingers like this. Then grab your crochet hook and Pull the yarn from the other side and then pull it again through the loop like this. So at the end you have to have something like that and then you basically have to chain extra two and this is how the magic ring looks like. And now we can start doing 15 double crochets into the magic ring in here. So to do a double crochet, you yarn over, uh, go through the ring. Remember to have both of the both of the yarn pieces on this side here. You grab the yarn, and now at this point you have three loops on your hook. You grab the yarn again and pull it through the first two, and then grab again and pull it through the remaining two. So this is our first double crochet. And now you just have to do it for 14 more times. So once again, grab the yarn, yarn over, go through the magic ring, pull the yarn, you have three loops, pull the yarn through the first two and the remaining two. And repeat it until you have done it for 15 times. And in total, you will have 16 pieces because we are also including this uh, chain of three that we did in the very beginning. So just repeat the process until you have done 15 double crochets. As you can see, I'm here somewhere in the middle of doing my double crochets. And if you're running out of space here, you can easily just pull the yarn. And as you can see, magic ring pulls it a bit closer and you're having more space. So here I have done 15 double crochets and now we can easily tighten the ring just by pulling this piece of yarn. And as you can see, it automatically uh, makes it tighter and you have a perfect ring in the middle here. And now we can just finish um, this ring by connecting uh, both sides by doing a slip knot. And uh, we will be doing it in here in the third chain that we did before. So basically just go through the loop that you have here, pull the yarn and pull it through the chain that you had on your hook. And now just chain one, pull some yarn and cut it off with your scissors and just tighten it so to make sure that it is secure. And this is the first part. Now we can continue with the next row and for the next row we will be using this color and first we have to attach it to our current ring. So to do that uh, we will be going through the stitch that we have here. Uh, I normally start it somewhere a bit far away from the finishing that we did. So just go through there, grab some yarn and pull it through and basically just attach it by making a secure knot. And 
And now I can start doing the next row. Uh, first we have to go through, grab the yarn and chain 3. 1, 2 and 3. And now in this row we will be doing the puff stitch. For the first uh, stitch that we will be doing here, we will do it two times. Uh, but for the remaining ones it will be three times. So basically now just yarn over, go through the chain that we have, pull the yarn through and make sure to pull it a bit looser, yarn over, go through the stitch again and pull the yarn again. So for the first one we are having five loops on the hook and then you just yarn over and pull the yarn through all the loops that you have and once you have done that just chain one. And also keep in mind that for the uh, for when making these stitches we are also trying to stitch into the yarn piece that we have here. But now let's continue with the next stitch and for the next one we will be doing a full puff stitch. So yarn over, go through the stitch that you have, pull the yarn through one time, yarn over, pull the yarn through for the second time and again pull it a bit tighter, looser, sorry, and then yarn over and pull the yarn through for the third time. And now you're having seven loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all of them. And once you have done that, chain one and do exactly the same for the following one. So we have seven loops and just pull the yarn through all of them. And as you can see we have also managed to hide the piece of yarn that we had in the very beginning. And now just continue doing the puff stitch until you reach the last remaining stitch on this side and I will meet you back again. But just let's do one more together. So yarn over, go through the chain at the bottom, pull the yarn through and make it loose, yarn over, pull the yarn through for the second time, yarn over and pull the yarn through for the last third time, yarn over again and pull the yarn through all loops on your hook and chain one and just repeat the same thing all over again. So here I have done full ring of puff stitches and in total I have to have 16. And here I just finish it by doing the final chain and now we just have to connect it. And to connect we are again going to do a slip stitch by going through the third chain that we have here. So just go through, grab some yarn and pull it through the chain that you had on your hook already like this and then just chain one pull through some yarn and cut it off with your scissors and just pull it a bit to make sure that it is secure like this for the next row we are going to use this yellow color and first we have to attach it to our current ring that we have and again i'm going to attach it somewhere here and this time we will be attaching it here in the middle part so just pull the yarn through and again make a knot and make sure that it is secure. And for this row we will be basically doing multiple unfinished double crochets. But first we have to chain three. So one, two, three. And in this first stitch we will be doing three unfinished double crochets. And to do so you basically yarn over, go through the hole in here, grab the yarn and you have three loops and pull through only the first two. Then yarn over, go through the hole again and again pull through first two. Now you have three loops and we have done two unfinished double crochets. And let's do the remaining third one. So yarn over, go through the hole and 
again go through the first two you have four loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all four loops so this is the first one once you have done that you chain two and we can proceed with the next hole in here and for the next one and also for all the remaining ones we will be doing four unfinished double crochets so as, as you can see here i'm also trying to hide the piece of yarn that we had before so we don't have to weave it in afterwards but let's continue and yarn over go through the hole and you have three loops go through the first two yarn over and again do the same and go through the first two you have done two unfinished double crochets uh, let's do the third one so here we have done three and now just remaining fourth one so here you go and in total you have to have five loops on the hook just yarn over and go through all five of them and chain two one and two and again repeat the same thing for the next hole so one two three and four five loops and pull through all of them and chain two so this is what you're going to do in the every single hole in here and i will meet you again back here and we will do the connection together so here i have done the whole row of the yellow color with four unfinished double crochet stitches in every single hole and in total we have 16 of them here i just have left to do final two chains one and two and now we can connect it here with the third chain that we did in the very beginning so again just go through and pull the yarn through and pull it through here by doing a slip stitch and just chain one pull some yarn and cut it off again and tighten it to make sure that it is secure like this so now we are done with our round rows and we can proceed with the final bit by doing edges and for that we will be using this uh, green color and first we again have to attach it to the flower part and to do that we will again go through here in one of the holes and just pull the yarn through and make a knot. we can start doing edges first we have to pull a loop through here and chain four one two three four and for the first corner here that we will be doing we will be starting by doing a triple crochet so to do that you yarn over twice like this then go through the hole and pull the yarn through yarn over and pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through final two so when we start we will do it twice in one so yarn over twice and do the second triple crochet pull through two pull through two and pull through two like this now we are proceeding with the next one and in the next one we will be doing double crochets so yarn over once go through the hole pull the yarn through pull through two and pull through remaining two and repeat it for two more times second time and third time so in total we have here three double crochets now in the next hole we will be doing half double crochet so to do a half double crochet you yarn over go through pull the loop through you have three loops 
yarn over and pull through all three of them like this and again in total you have to do it three times so we did it once and now we do it for the second time and for the third time like this now in the next one we will repeat what we did here so it's double crochet three times So this is where we are now and we have basically we reached the corner on the other side as we have here. So we will first do three triple crochets in the hole here. So yarn over twice, go through, pull through two, pull through two and pull through the remaining two and do it in total for three times. So this is our second time and our third time. One, two, and three. Once we have done it three times, chain three. One, two, three. And do again three triple crochets in the same hole. So yarn over twice, go through and do the same thing. So this is one. This is second one and the third one like this. So now we have finished with the corner here and basically now we just have to repeat what we did here. So in the first hole we will be doing three double crochets, then we do three half double crochets, again three double crochets and here we repeat the corner that we have here and again we do the same on this side and same in here and i will meet you back when we are here so let's start by doing three double crochets so here we are at the final corner and as you can see we have shaped it in a square shape and now it's just left for us to do the final three triple crochets. So yarn over twice, go through the hole here and pull through two, pull through two and pull through two and do two more. And the final one. Once you do the three one, three triple crochets, chain three, one, two, three, and now we can connect it with the other corner. And this time we will be connecting it with the stitch that we have here. So go through the stitch, pull the yarn through, and pull it through the loop that you had on your hook. And now just chain one, pull some yarn, and Cut it off with your scissors and just tighten it. And this is our granny square. As you can see, it's very pretty, very good looking, and it's also very easy and very fun to make. If you enjoy creating granny squares, it's really fun to create a lot of them so you can connect them to create like a blanket or a cardigan. You can also easily go with the smaller yarn and hook size to create a smaller square or you can mix and match colors to create different patterns and connect them to create like a summer top that I have done here. So it's really up to you and your imagination on what you want to create. Thank you for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that it's going to be helpful for your next crochet project. If you did enjoy, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the comment section and I will try to help you from there. But thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!